Your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Breaking news as Brian Walsh, the husband of missing Cohasset mother Anna Walsh, is now charged with murder in connection with her disappearance. Anna Walsh was last seen back on New Year's Day. She was reported missing by her employer on January 4th. Brian Walsh was originally arrested one week later on the charge of misleading the investigation and has been held on high bail. Meanwhile, several search efforts have turned up evidence, including a bloody knife in the family's basement. Local leaders gathered at Union Station in downtown Springfield to announce millions of dollars in funding going towards a new cybersecurity center. The $5 million project will allow area cybersecurity students to work for the cybersecurity center. That center is set to be completed by next year. And eight people are now without a home. After an early morning fire tore through a multifamily house on College Street. Crews arrived around 3.30 this morning to find flames shooting from the top of the house. Everyone inside was able to make it out safely and firefighters rescued a pet. Residents are being assisted by the Red Cross. The cause of the fire is under investigation. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown. The check of your forecast. We have a couple of showers around late this afternoon into early this evening. A stray shower still possible overnight. Otherwise, it's looking mostly cloudy and chilly. Temperatures dropping down to the low 30s, but well above normal for this time of year. And then tomorrow, we're still battling the cloud cover with occasional breaks of sunshine. It'll be another mild day with temps climbing back toward the mid 40s, but blustery. Wind gusts out of the west could occasionally top 20 to 25 miles an hour, and that's going to make it feel a little bit colder. Now, our next storm system is on tap for Thursday into Friday. This looks to start mainly as rain, possibly a wintry mix in the hills Thursday afternoon. Then Thursday night into Friday morning, a change over to snow is possible, especially in the northwestern hills, where a few inches could be expected. And there might even be a little patchy freezing rain that could lead to a glaze of ice. The lower valley likely just staying wet yet again with this storm system. And then we'll be tracking another one on tap for the end of the weekend. Now Thursday's temperature, also Friday and Saturday, looking like we're going to get stuck in in the 30s. We've got wet and wintry weather Thursday night into Friday and then Saturday looking dry. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.